Increase from College of Fine Arts. We have a fusionist Stephen presenting Tabla and Rhythm Act. We are starting this event. people coming together to make this happen. And we could talk about this later. But it's been some time that we've been thinking about this stem to steam. Uh, it's been my belief, it's been my belief that uh, where we are in this country right now, and this whole geopolitical shift that we are seeing, uh, it's extremely important that we move from this classic labor arbitrage to IT, innovation, and technology. We actually have uh, Chandra, uh, Vice Chairman, Group Chief Executive, Cognizant. I think his problems are much larger than mine, but that's something which I'm sure we are in the spirits there. And for us, it's extremely important that all of us become more multifaceted, more design thinkers, and that's really where STEM to STEAM came to be. Uh, I was at NASCOM uh, last year when your namesake, Chandra, present uh, chairman of Dada Science, he talked about it that in the future, only design, I repeat, only design and empathy will be the domain of human beings. And algorithms and automation and technology will be the domain of machines. And 
and especially with what we've seen about automation, innovation, it's extremely important that all of us move from classically doing go fetch to doing much more. And that's really this whole STEM scheme has come to be. I uh, really wanted to thank uh, John Fleming, uh, Mala Venkat. It was an innocuous conversation which I had with John about this article that had been published in Times of India about uh, STEM to STEAM. And he told me about some of the thoughts that he's been having. And I think he has some initiatives with Leola and other colleges. And uh, that's when we said that before he bids us adieu and goes off to the greener pastures of Myanmar and has coffee or tea with Aung San Suu Kyi, uh, we basically have him here and inaugurate this event. When I was thinking or researching this tent of steam, some interesting thoughts came to uh, all of us know of Ted Turner, the promoter of CNN, who is really the person who promoted the whole concept of cable news. It seems his father was very upset when he decided to take classical arts. And he believes that the key reason he could do this big area of Asia's goals of starting cable news was largely because of his pursuit of Greek classical art and Greek classics. If we have been watching and reviewing some of the art, we have some of the folks who are following uh, impressionist painting of Van Gogh, and we have uh, Hussein being followed. And if one were to look in the 1860s of the impressionist painting, this whole impressionist movement between Renoir or Monet or Manet, we talk about art, but what one doesn't see that it's really a fusion of art and science. The impressionists were able to come up with a concept of capturing this momentary and sensory effect of the scene, the optical effect of light on aging on passage of time was what the impressionist paintings did. And today, if you look at IDEO, you look at any of the newer technologies, it all, and all of them are being infused with art. And it was with that intent that we decided to start stand to scene. I'm talking about conspiring of nature. My favorite uh, poem, and some of you may know it, is the Seventh Deep Prayer, which goes something like this, that uh, God give me the serenity to change things that I can, and courage to bear things that I cannot, and the wisdom to know the difference. And I think today, the artists Uttam Kumar, Uday Kumar, Narsimhalu, and Suvedha Ganesh are the embodiment of that Seventh Deep Prayer. I think what they have been able to achieve, in spite of some of their blessings or the crosses that they bear, is something that we should all take away from and try and be better technologists and better people and better human beings. I wanted to thank uh, Ramana from Indian Habitat to announce this and launch this uh, stem to stem uh, stem to see event. And thank you so very much for coming. We will now have. A few minutes of classical rendition. Extraordinary art, culture, and history is a testament to this event. I'm also pleased to inform you that I am joined this evening by my staff, senior commercial specialist, Bala Lincoln. Together, we are ready to work with you on your business needs. And I, and it has flown by so swiftly. One of the great privileges of being Principal Commercial Officer of a big consular district is that I get to travel around and meet people and companies, both American and Indian. This past year, I have traveled to all parts of the Southern Consular District. I've witnessed firsthand the excitement of the U.S.-India relationship and people-to-people -people ties. I've seen the impact that our people and our programs can make, and I've seen the great promise of our strategic partnership what clearly has become the critical strategic alliance for the 21st century. Though I am incredibly busy these days, simultaneously doing my job and preparing for my, loop, my move, the topic of the event, STEM to STEAM, is both fascinating and important. The honest truth is, I could not resist being here today. That is why I'm here. Teaching STEAM, science, technology, engineering, art, and math. In elementary school, could be even more promising than teaching STEM. 
This is due to its ability to cross multiple subject areas and its appeal to multiple types of learners. Intentional integration of the arts in science and engineering lessons has the potential to move to more deeply engage all learners. Ultimately, STEAM teaching is about the student rather than the subject areas. Students may see themselves not just as future scientists or engineers, but also as designers or creators. I would also like to quote an, ex an excerpt from Education Closet. Nobel laureates in the sciences are 17 times likelier than the average scientist to be a painter, 12 times as likely to be a poet, and four times as likely to be a musician. Our economy requires so much more than an understanding of these areas. It requires application, creation, and ingenuity. STEM alone does not foster these essential nutrients. STEAM is a way to take the benefits of STEM and complete the package by integrating these principles in and through the arts. STEAM takes STEM to the next level. It allows students to connect their learning in these critical areas together with arts practices, elements, design principles, and standards to provide the whole palette of learning at their disposal. STEAM removes limitations and replaces them with wonder, critique, theory, and innovation. Thank you for inviting me this evening. We look forward to continuing our outstanding relationship with you. Thank you very much.